County Talk, it's finished, Notts County nil, Dover Athletic nil. I'm not going to keep you long, Luke, because there's not really too much to talk about. So, performance-wise, start us off. What did you make of it? Uh, first half was just not really much happened at all, to be honest. I think the only thing I can remember is that number three for them wiping out Osborne, which I thought it could have been a red, but, you know, no point pondering about that. In the second half, I thought we looked a lot better. Um, we had the more clear-cut chances. They had a couple of half chances, half chances, but nothing really. I thought we defended really well. Um, Thomas had that one-on-one, -on -one which he should have scored really. And then Enzo was unlucky at the end with that little p-roller free kick. I can't really see because I was stuck behind a pillar, but yeah. and then it rattled off the post. But you know, when it's not your day, you know, every second ball seemed to drop to them. Like if they had a poor clearance out from a, a ball in from us, it always seemed to find a blue shirt rather than a not shirt. And like I say, at the end of the day, if it was that day, NGO's free kick at the end either goes in or rebounds back to Dennis or whoever. So Yeah, I think you summed the performance quite well there. The game entirely, I mean, like you say, I agree with you. Thomas really should be putting them away, shouldn't he? He's had a few chances like that this season and you just think you've got to be scoring them really. And if there's a different striker such as Dennis, he'd probably be tucking them away. And like you say, Enzio... If only that went in. Yeah. It would have been like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be too harsh on Thomas because I, I like Thomas and I think he's he scored some good goals. Like, well, that one against Chorley and uh, another against, uh, I can't remember who it was. So I don't want to be too critical of him, but I think he probably had too much time and over thought it. Mm. Um, I also thought in the first half when, no, second half, sorry, when Osborne, um, when someone dinked the ball over to Osborne, I remember hearing on commentary a couple of weeks ago saying that. Uh, Thomas was screaming at Osborne because he didn't square a ball when it was the, the easier option. <coughs> and I think today he should have gone for himself, but he probably had that in the back of his mind when he tried to play a ball across that was never on. Yeah. Uh, so it's just little things like that, but you know, I'm not going to get too down hard about it. It's still unbeaten. It's yeah, another yeah, clean yeah. sheet. I think on the whole today, one thing for me that we've got to take away from this game and we need to improve on is the final ball, isn't it? Yeah, you know, just take your time with it a little bit. I think <clears throat> sometimes as well, on the edge of the box, just pull the trigger because you never know if it's going to rebound off a couple of people. I think Rose had a couple where he could have just had a shot rather than try and play the extra ball and then it's just not, he hasn't got the quality just to do that. But, you know, I think, yeah, that final ball, I think they defended quite well to be fair to them as well. Uh, they got men behind the ball, they worked hard, so it's just one of those days. Yeah. Um, I'm going to briefly talk about the ref because I think <laughs> it's definitely a talking point. Now, I don't like blaming refs for results, but he was blowing for everything today, wasn't he? He was. It just blew it, like, not just for us, for them as well. Like just any any little touch, any little niggles, you know, blows. So stop start, nothing could get really get going. Um, I think we'll just leave it at that because we all know what he was like. Yeah. Um, final point, um, man of the match, uh, Doyle got it, didn't he? Do you think that was because of the goal he scored against Dagenham? <laughs> <laughs> could be. Um, it's a tough one, isn't it? It's a tough man one. Of the match. It's the, it, <laughs> I don't know who to give it to him. I mean, Doyle, Doyle did all right, to be fair to him. Yeah. Uh, everyone had an OK game. No one really excelled. Like I said, I thought that uh, we looked pretty good at the bat. That Lacey, first off, especially, looked, just looked so calm on the ball. Yeah, yeah. So he looks, he looks like a really good signing. Yeah, he's uh, good at spraying the balls out as well. Yeah, yeah, Lacey. definitely. And I think him and Rawlinson complement each other well because Rawlinson had a, I thought he had another really good game. So, yeah, yeah. yeah fair play. Could have gave it to anyone. Maybe, so. Yeah. Luke, thanks yeah. for joining us again. Cheers, mate.